What's good, y'all? It's June 29th, Thursday, and I'm still at my old crib. Boxing, man. Like, <laughs> turns out like I'm not moving until tomorrow morning, and I'm gonna tell y'all the whole story, and this is why I cannot stand moving. Just so stressful, but like, honestly, I'm not even tripping because I didn't actually have to be out of here until tomorrow, but it kind of just messed up the plans that I had for the weekend. Yesterday, right, I go, to the apartment complex to see the apartment real quick make sure everything everything i sent in good like everything's finalized all that so i went to the bank because i had to get a cashier's check for like the move-in deposit and all that cost was like four hundred dollars to move in tell me why i go to the office right and he's like yeah you owe like fifteen hundred i'm like what bro you told me and this mind you like i applied to this apartment and got approved back in may and he sent me everything telling me the cost moving costs all that and i had everything ready he's like uh you gotta pay like 1500. bro what are you talking about man if you move after the 25th at the end of the month you have to pay like those last remaining days of that month and then your first month's rent which he never told me so like obviously i wasn't tripping about it. i was like whatever here cool gave him the money the whole moving costs all that so i'm like all right can i go see the apartment he's like yeah, we can go look at it, but honestly, it's still not ready. What? I'm like, bro, how's it still not ready? I got this apartment almost two months ago, and they're j and like they're just now getting to work on it. And he was like, we still got to put the microwave in, we got to put it in the new fridge, like we got to still do all this stuff. I'm like, you gonna do this a day before I move in? Y'all couldn't even done this two weeks ago, a week ago, like you're doing everything last minute. So I go and check it out. It, it's literally a mess. So I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. So I'm like, all right, what time is, can I move in tomorrow? Like, is 9 a.m. cool? He's like, honestly, bro, it's not gonna be ready till one o'clock. What? I said one o'clock. He's like, yeah, we still got stuff to do. We still have to get the cleaning people in there. Everything. I'm like, bro, I got movers coming at 8 a.m. the next day. Like, and I they charge about an hour. So I'm like, I can't tell them to come you know in the afternoon because they probably have other people they have to go after me he's like yeah bro i don't know like this is me trying not to get mad I'm just trying to be like calm about the situation because i used to be a leasing agent years ago so i know how this goes and you know hey i'm cool with him so like i wasn't trying to you know make a scene or nothing like that i was like all right cool i go and text the movers and i'm like hey is there any way that we can go we can move in the afternoon instead of the morning he's like let me see if i can switch the appointment i had in the afternoon for the morning and then put you in the afternoon slot i'm like cool he gets back to me later that day he's like yeah the guy's not letting us switch it he's being extra all this stuff he's like the the job might not take that long so i'll update you like once i know like how long it take i might still be able to get you in in the afternoon i'm like cool cool so i'm sitting here the next day it's thursday today i'm sitting here right 12 o'clock passes one o'clock passes it's two o'clock i'm like yo let me text this man i'm like yo can i get an update are you guys gonna be able to do it or not if not no worries cool he's like yeah man this this job's just taking so long because they had to move like 10 vending machines and all this stuff like but i wasn't tripping because he's been real cool like he's a good guy and i was like all right you know what i ain't even stressed i took the small stuff that i could took all my groceries went grocery shopping and all that and like moved it to my new apartment everything's packed up so literally i have to go back into the boxes take stuff out that i needed because i'm going to be staying here another night i gotta sleep on the damn couch because my bed's taken apart like my mattress is like sitting up like i'm not putting that back together to sleep on it for a night i'm like i'll just sleep on the couch this is why i move is so stressful you know <laughs> like this is just a start man tomorrow they're coming at eight o'clock which is cool i already got the keys and everything so i don't have to wait on anybody i can just move right in this is just a start this is just a start of <laughs> what's to come and you know i think god was really teaching me a lesson like yo you gotta be calm in these situations you can't be getting overworked and like stressed but it's hard because i was really planning on moving today like spending the whole day moving so now like what i had to do tomorrow i can't do so it's all good but you know i'm gonna be updating y'all on what's going on I said this is how we start with the move it ain't going as like what i thought it would man we gonna see i'm having i really like i got a tv and a couch like that's it that's all i got everything else is packed away so and i have no food like literally i bought a burrito and some tacos like that's what i'm eating for dinner i got no breakfast for tomorrow morning <laughs> so like everything's at the other place didn't want to have to you know lug it 
tomorrow when the movers come, I'm just taking everything on one trip and I'm out. So I'll probably eat who knows when. <sighs> Gotta deal with it and just, you know, smile through it all. As long as I'm getting moved in, that's good, everything's settled. But I wanna update y'all on that because I'm just like, of course it happens to me. And I kinda knew something was gonna happen. Like everything was going too smoothly and then this happened. But yeah, we gonna, I'll catch y'all tomorrow at the new place and let y'all uh, give y'all an update on how you know that move went so hopefully there's no issues hopefully i can get moved in the morning and we can get on with the weekend what's good y'all man it's july 1st i moved in i ain't gonna show y'all yet because i still got stuff to add to it i still gotta make it cozy and homey honestly this last like this last 24 hours has been ridiculous in terms of just like how much stuff I've had to do and how much running around. Moving's exhausting. I, mostly I'll probably know, but moving is exhausting. And I promise y'all, if I did not have movers, I probably would not even be able to speak right now because I'd be still knocked out. Movers are great. They came at like 8.15 yesterday, moved everything out and into this apartment before 10 o'clock. Like if y'all have never had movers before, get movers especially in the summertime especially out here because it's just too hot to move it was a lifesaver and i had to like deep clean this whole apartment move everything around like try to get it the feng shui right try to get everything right and i'm gonna tell y'all if y'all move into a new apartment make sure y'all deep clean that apartment don't assume it's clean you know and just start putting stuff away like deep clean everything make sure it's sanitized all that because the cleaning ladies that come they just surface clean they don't actually clean so make sure y'all actually deep clean before you put everything away and like get really like settled and situated. I spent, I, I think they were done at like 10 and from like 10 to six, I promise y'all I was cleaning, moving stuff around, putting stuff away. I had to get a haircut in between. Y'all see, I had to get a haircut. You already know, I had to fit that in. That was my break. That was sitting in that barber chair. It was the first time I sat down the whole day. And then I didn't sit on this couch till about 6.30 and by 8.30 I was passed out because I was so tired from just being on my feet all day making target runs like moving is really draining it's exhausting like i i slept pretty good like i said i've passed out by like 8 30 and woke up around like 6 37 but i still got stuff to do today i still have to you know head back to target pick up some things head to big lots big lots be having the low key hidden gems for the low low so if y'all shop at big lots man salute to y'all and then my old apartment complex because it's july 1st something told me to like check like my rent account where I pay rent. And this got $3,000 out there. I said, what? I just gave y'all the keys yesterday and I signed up for them saying I was good. Then they go hit me with a $3,000 rent charge saying I'm on like a day to day, trying to hit me with all these charges for like rent and everything. So I'm about to go there at 10, as soon as they open and be like, yo, what is good with this? Cause I'm not paying this. Y'all saw me move out. Y'all said I was good. Everything's spotless, you know why i gotta pay this so we're gonna figure that out for sure I changed my address but i just i just got a new car last week and they sent like registration tag like the updated like registration number like the year or whatever to my old apartment so i have to figure out if i can go back into that mailbox and get it because i needed to put on my license plate it's got a lot of stuff to do today and it's like i want to get it done early because it's supposed to be like 115 today ridiculously hot and i'm trying to get and it's already like 90 degrees right now and it's only 745 so I'm really trying to get everything done early and then just kind of figure out what I'm going to do. I might chill by the pool. Actually, I don't know. I'm too hot. I mean, it's too hot. <laughs> I said I'm too hot. Well, I am too with the cut. But it's just too hot to be chilling by the pool, especially with this black on black. Like the sun, it ain't working. I'm going to figure out what I got to do, what I want to do. Um, yeah, we finna just be running errands and I want to update y'all on everything and I'm gonna show y'all the place once it's done Like it's really not that big, but like I said, I'm really that type of person that doesn't need a big space I'm low-key a minimalist and I take pride on that because a lot of the stuff that we have we don't actually need So I'm more of like I get what I need not what I want So when it's all done and everything looks the way I want it to look I'm gonna show y'all my little humble abode, but until then I'll catch y'all in a little bit Stay tuned. Let's get it was good y'all man it's like 5 30. i don't know if i want to get chick-fil-a or in and out because they both right here and that's why i love this complex that i'm at because it's like right next to all the food spots all the grocery stores everything when i tell you i didn't do nothing all day i didn't do nothing all day and i'm gonna show you why no y'all see that you see that excessive heat warning 110 y'all think i'm playing i'm not going outside unless it's Early in the morning before the sun come up, 
or it's late at night when the sun goes down. Regardless, it's still hot. 110, bro, and it's 530. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's that's the that's the downfall of living in AZ. You got to deal with the heat. And it ain't that bad because, like, there's no humidity, but it's like, bro, nobody wants to be outside right now. I tried to go to the pool earlier. I went downstairs. The place was packed out. I went right back upstairs. Like, I really took a step, looked, turned around, went right back upstairs because I was like, yo, there's no... Everyone was in that pool. Everyone was at the on the table, on the chairs, whatever. Like, I had... There was nothing. And I went down on, like, almost, like, 11.30, like, early. And there was already everyone out there. In the crib all day, just sleeping bro because i'm still tired from this move but now i'm hungry so we gonna either you know y'all gonna come with me we gonna see what we about to eat i think i'm gonna go in and out because it's been a minute but i don't know i want chick-fil-a we're gonna find out let's go let's go y'all now one thing i do like about this complex is that the cover the garage parking is in the rent i don't gotta pay extra for it my last place i had to park outside because they were taxing on the on the garage fee so I was parking outside midsummer and bruh. I'ma just tell you, I couldn't even get into the car because it was just way too hot. But now you see we in the garage. Nice with it. We good. So I ain't gotta worry about dealing with the sun. But it's still hot in here. 104. Inside the garage. Like it's that hot. Right, we're gonna have a little talk real quick, you feel me? Honestly, I was gonna go to LA and see my sister, but because my move got like pushed back, I wasn't able to. Cause now like I had to do everything today that I was supposed to do yesterday. I didn't wanna make that drive, especially cause I was planning on leaving like Friday morning early, like probably like 4 a.m. Not even, probably earlier than that, but this didn't happen, so I'm, I'm stuck here for the weekend. It's annoying, man, but everyone, everyone's out either coming here for the fourth or leaving. So it's like, regardless, like Arizona's still the place to be, regardless of the weather being as crazy as it is. Like, this is really, this is, I don't even understand, man. It's just, <laughs> it's so hot. It's like, why? Like, for what? Why does it gotta be so hot? And it's like, I ain't even complaining because I don't mind it, but it's just, it just makes everything less enjoyable. You know it's bad when they be saying, oh, there's an excessive heat warning. Make sure you're indoors. Make sure you're not out at this time. Like they really trying to protect all of us. Cause some people really be trying to go on hikes in the middle of the day when it's peak hot, like, and then wondering why they die in a heat stroke and everything like that because they don't listen. Excuse me. This line is long, bro. Like, this is how you know you have good energy. Now watch, I'm gonna get in line, I promise you. Watch how many people get behind me after. And that's how you know you always got good energy. Cause I feel like any line I get into, I only gotta wait for like two minutes. Everyone behind me ends up coming and then the line's even longer. This is for in and out. Let me know, let me know in the comments what y'all get for those who got in and out in their area. What do y'all get? Cause I'm definitely getting a double double, a cheeseburger, and a fry. Or should I get two double doubles? Nah, I ain't gonna be greedy. <laughs> I ain't gonna be greedy. But nah, fun fact, like, until I moved here, I never had In N Out before. I remember the first time I had it, like, I fell in love. Those who say In N Out's overrated, you overrated. Cause it's so good, it's consistent. It never, like, I never had a bad experience at In N Out. Some people be like, what a burger, what a burger I've never had. Low key, I think it's nasty. It just looks nasty, you know what I'm saying? I go with what I know. I got like an addictive personality. So if something's good or something I enjoy, low key, I'ma keep eating it or I'ma keep doing it, which has its pros and its cons, but at the same time, like, for like this, you gotta go with what you know. You know, I, I take risks, but when it comes to eating good, especially on a Saturday, I go in and out. Those who are asking like, yo, why don't you have plans? Or why don't you go out tonight? Or why don't you do this? Like when I tell y'all, this is really what I do on weekend. This is really what I do. I just, unless I'm like going out to dinner or, you know, I'm hanging out with my boys at their place or whatever, like having those life talks. Like this is really what I do. And I'm perfectly content, perfectly content. These are the moments you got to enjoy because as you get older, you know, obviously you're gonna have more responsibility. You're gonna have things to deal with. Like I'm at an age right now, I don't really got responsibilities except taking care of myself. And you know, it's a big responsibility to, for self care. It ain't, it ain't as big as when you got a family or you got a girl, or you got a wife. Like if you single, 
take the time to just enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Being in a relationship is an expense. I've been saying this. It may not always be an expense. It could be an investment. But my advice to y'all who want to be in a relationship or looking to get into a relationship, if you don't got the bread, don't do it. Everyone's situation is different. Like someone's someone who might have enough may not be enough for somebody else. So it's like know how much it is to like where you can have a be in a relationship because it does drain your account but for the better you know what i'm saying like you know it's an investment you get a good return sometimes i'm gonna knock my past relationships like they were good most of them my last one was great just didn't work out but let me know what y'all doing for the fourth or what y'all did for the fourth because this ain't gonna be out till after i don't even know what i'm gonna post this honestly i'm gonna i'm just making videos as i'm making videos i'm just talking to talk i really just be chilling and i ain't gonna lie to y'all some some days it's lonely some days it's lonely. That's just God taking his time with me, you know, just preparing me for something better. It gives you time to reflect being alone. And it's like, I ain't even like alone alone. I'm just by myself. I'm just vibing by myself. Yeah, I'm the type, I don't, I eat breakfast and dinner. I don't really believe in lunch. Like if I, if I have leftovers from like the dinner I made, maybe I'll eat it, but it's never like enough to like fill me up. And that's one thing I learned too, is all the type to eat to get full, y'all gotta stop. You just gotta eat to feel satisfied. You know what I'm saying? Don't overeat to the point where you, you so full, like you bloated, you got the itis, all that. Like, nah, that's not how we supposed to be. Like eat enough to make you fulfill. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm trying to learn too. And also one thing I'm gonna tell y'all, I watched Phil Cover. he was talking about this too, but I've been doing this for a minute. Like intermittent fasting, the best thing you can do, I promise you. Like I ain't telling anybody how to eat or how to live. Intermittent fasting is like the best thing you can do. It's the best thing for me. Like I eat between the hours of like eight and six or like eight and seven on the weekends. Like I don't eat after seven o'clock or like, it depends. Like I'm not gonna eat a big meal. Like I try to not eat after a certain period of time and then I'll, I'll fast for like 12 to 15 hours. Trying to get your body right, whatever it is. Just try it out, you never know. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody's body's different. Everybody needs different things. But I definitely recommend like don't eat in general. Like even if you don't intermittent fast, do not eat after eight o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Like if you come home from work after eight, like don't eat. You gotta find a time to eat before then. You know everyone's schedule is different, everybody's life is different, but if you can prevent it, definitely do it because it's worth it. Yeah, we still waiting on it. We still waiting in this line. We still waiting in this line. Uh, can I get uh, one double double? Would you like onion on your burger? Uh, no onions, please. Okay. And then one hamburger. One what, I'm sorry? One hamburger, please. Would you like onion? Uh, no onions, please. Okay. And then just one french fry. Anything to drink for you? Uh, no, that'll be it. And will you be eating this in your car? Uh, yes. So I have a hamburger and a double double, no onion, and one french fry all to go? Yep. Okay, 11 40 on that first. Thank you. Thank you. Put the window down for, for two minutes. Not even two minutes, like 30 seconds, boy, and I was over here dying. Yo, these tinted windows, man. Whew. Blessing. But you see, I got all that for $12. $12, light work. Oh man, it's gonna be lovely. It's gonna be lovely. I'll see y'all back at the crib though. Can't imagine it, I'm gonna be my wife in the club. We gon' see though, I feel like she more of a CEO. Or maybe she doing volunteer work in Rio. It's not like I need her, but I would love to meet her. Oh boy, y'all see that? Oh my God. Oh, man. Ooh, make sure y'all pay before you eat though.